What's up guys, this is Geeve Slash Cast you know back to another crappy video. We're fucking here. Fucking Poggers season one. About to do the 50 keg stone. It's gonna be some insane complex technical gameplay. We'll talk about that. Insane complex technical build gear leveling later. But we're playing Rogue, which is moderately poggers actually. Um but it's not a, it's not a fucking brainless whirlwind build, so you can't just like turn your brain off. But then we developed a method that I think works somewhat for playing the build brainless. So when you're out of combat, you're just spamming dash and evade. But then when you get into combat, if you have no... If there's no purple on the screen, you click, left click, if you have purple, you hold right click, and then, I honestly can't tell, because this is the first time we played Rogue, but I'm pretty sure you can double imbue, because the graphics, the graphics overcomes it, right? So I'm not sure if you can, if you have to stagger them, or can you just load them both. So you're just spamming, in my case, is two and three all the time. I'm pretty sure you can stack them, but I'm not sure. Maybe you can't. If you can't, then you have to, you just do one and then you do the other. So they're offset. So you're just spamming two and three all the time, and then depending on how much purple, you have, you left click or right click, and then obviously on like elites you want to vulnerable them first, and then TB. And then, if you're in combat, you spam 1 as well, to trigger your dash assassinate ability. Or if you're out of range, you move the mouse to an elite, and then you do that. And then obviously you dash every now and again so like that's how you play it because like you don't you know you, like this is the kind of um gameplay where like you don't want to have to think right like obviously if you're a if you're a skilled player you don't need this advice but if you just don't care and you're used to playing like whirlwind where you don't have to think about what buttons you're pressing like i feel like this this works quite well right And again, like, I'm pretty sure you can double imbue. But the graphics over the overlaps itself, so I can't tell. But uh, if, you, if you can't, then you just have to trigger one and then do the other. But the, um... The build is moderately poggers. Obviously, like, the damage is pretty high. Single target. We're not using a trap yet, because we can't be fucked. But, um... Yeah, Season 1, I mean, it's not... It's not particularly poggers, like the... Like, you don't even notice the, um... You don't even come across those... What are they even called? The, like, corrupted bullshit? Like... It's so rare, and then when it does spawn, it takes like 18, you have to click it manually. Like, that's just stupid, right? Like, so like, the league is pretty bad. But I mean, the game's, the game's new, right? And like, we're playing a new... ...thing. Like, it's primarily the streamers that are trapped playing the same game for 20 years. 18 hours a day. Like, you can't balance games around streamers. Like, that's the thing. Like, it just doesn't work. Like, no one... <laughs> no one... who has the potential to do anything useful at <laughs> in the world lives like that and becomes a streamer. You know what I mean? Like, I, let's be real. Like, honestly, come on. Like, no one with any sort of useful skill or potential or ability becomes a streamer, right? Like, let's be honest here. Like, this is why...
streaming is just so toxic to society because like you have like that zero ten to the negative a trillion you know the millionth billionth person who was successful or again like you don't know how successful someone is like people lie about everything you don't know how much help they had their actual living situation the cost to their own life that they did or family or whatever right? but like streaming creates like one person who people think is successful and then other people rather than pursuing something useful or benefiting themselves are choosing now to um try emulate that or copy it right and then you have a bunch of young people who instead of doing something useful are now pursuing this streaming thing which at the end of the day doesn't benefit society in any way like it's just fucked up right <laughs> But, like, let's be real. Like, that's the truth, right? And then again, like, those... Those 1% streamers... Who are successful. Are they even successful? You don't know what the true cost was. Or, like, nepotism or whatever. You know, like... There's plenty of examples that we could point out. Specific names. But, like, again, like, do you want to just light the internet on fire? Do you want to just start... Start these battles? Like, it's... Like, we don't care that much, but, like, you gotta, like, factor that in, right? So, like, what are we even talking about? Like, you can't balance games around streamers, right? So, like, the game's new, so even though... Yeah, the league's pretty bad. Like, the game's still new, so it's still fun, right? Like, you haven't already played 18 years of the game, like a streamer. And then at the end of the day, like... What are these games to me? Like, this is just... It's like in Australia, there's like a massive problem with like... Like, 40-year-old plus people... Being addicted to pokey machine gambling? And, like, I don't understand that, how that happens when video games like ARPGs exist. Because, like, what are these games? They're basically, um... Gambling... It's like a fancy graphics gambling machine, right? Like, except you're not actually gambling... Money. Like, you get the same thing out of it, right? Like, so why would you go to a poking machine? when you could play this game, right? It just doesn't make any sense. So, like, that's what the game is. So, like, when people say, like, the game is terrible, it's still a game about fucking killing monster mans and getting fucking loot and... Like, I just don't understand. Like, and, like, if you say, like, Nightmare Dung's... It's just terrible. Like, it's the same shit, man. It's fucking... It's a room, a map, a world where you fucking kill monster mans. Get items, loot, gear, skill, experience. Like, I don't understand, like, how you can say, like, it's bad or good or... You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, it's the same shit. So, like, it's still an ARPG. It's a brand new game. Oh, here we go. A malignant heart. Like, you have to click this, then it takes 18 years for this to spawn. Like, what is the point of this, man? And then, obviously, one thing we didn't talk about is, um... The Xing Xing Xing. So... Outside of just normal mobs where it doesn't matter, when you're fighting something that actually matters, you want to do the triple shing shing, get the three combat points, and then you TB, twisting blades, right? So you do shing shing shing, and then you twisting blades. But obviously, um, 
I hope shit teleports on us, because I don't want to hunt the shit down. That's the one bad thing about this build, it doesn't have any suck, right? Shing 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 and then TB, but it's a Diablo game, so the ga the game sound is Shing 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 Ra still retarded slurp Shing Shing Shing. It it can be hard to tell what's going on. But we haven't really um we haven't really looked at the corrupted um Corrupted ooze, whatever the fuck it's called, that you suck it in the gems. We haven't had looked at like how you upgrade it or anything. We just did the quest at the start. Like I don't really think it matters, right? And like, it's like PUE two. Obviously, it's it's hard for PUE to not be better than this, but it's still fucking two years away, man. Like they just spent, they just fucked around. I don't know, like. People are talking about it. It's interesting, but it's like, did they expect to get more money, like more investment and resources from the ten cent acquisition? Because remember, like they had Exile Con, which was like eighteen. Oh god, our fucking inventory. You have Exile Con, which was like twenty thousand years ago, and like nothing's happened since then. And like, even shit, like, remember like, Path of Exile Mobile? Like, did they, I'm wondering if they just envisioned that they had, they were gonna get like, insane investment and staff to be able to take on 20,000 projects at once from the Tencent acquisition. And it just never happened. And then they just, uh, they have no staff and they're trying to do the league. They're trying to do regular leagues. PUE2, PUE Mobile. All that shit at the same time. And they just can't. And now they're just fucked. And then like Lost Ark. Lost Ark came out and was like moderately successful with like the MMO open world riding a horse and then D4 Blizzard just actually released something like they didn't expect it to be so quick and now like you can't just have your like five acts and then you're mapping right you need open world fucking riding a horse fucking etc right like and Obviously, D4 is not some insane game, but it's like they've got fucking two years, two years to fucking add shit by the time PUE comes out. Fuck, why is our inventory full? I thought we cleared it before we started. God damn it. distant that's wait how much armor if the, if it's a significant armor like it overrides we're still using a shit ranged weapon because we don't have the thing to fucking subterfuge crit life we don't care about that I don't think it's worth overriding all our shit. This is shit. Can we just sort? No, I guess we just sort. Fuck it. So like, yeah, like, like there's still fucking ages before PUE 2 is ready. Like obviously there's no reason the way, um, the amount of effort that PUE does put in. But, like, it's, it's gonna take time. And D things already, um... It's already out, and they're gonna be adding shit, right? Like, so... gonna try do the sh shing 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 
it's more important here, right? I don't know if we should um swap to a trap or something. Like we haven't we've like we've never played the class, so we don't know. So we're just playing the most basic brainless version of it. But this looks like it should be pretty easy. Like the the single target's pretty high. But it's pretty bad when he spawns those fucking things and then sits in them. We're failing the Shing Shing Shing. Pretty badly here. But yeah, it was just something I was thinking about. Like, did they expect just a massive investment when they did the Tencent acquisition. I don't even remember like how bad the outrage was. I, I was pretty surprised when that happened. But again, like that was so long ago, man. Like 2019. Like you remember fucking COVID. <laughs> it's been so long, man. It's just been so long, man, and like the game's changed with like Lost Ark coming out and now D4. And then by the time it launches... Like obviously, like, I don't think D3, D4 was worth the cost. Let's just unlock this thing first, like... The game was way overpriced, there's no doubt about that, but it's like, what else are you going to do? Woo! Dubs T4, Dubs T3, Poggers. What's this quest here? Tell me more. Do you actually have to do something? Investigate someone's wagon. What? Where is it though? Whose wagon are we investigating? Why are we investigating a wagon? I don't see... The green thing... Okay, now it's... Oh, go all the way over there. Fuck that, man. Uh, we'll just do the loot real quick and we'll talk about all the bullshit. Five point five close! Uh, with no upgrades. Eh. This is shit. This is shit. We have pretty good gloves. This is shit. Four seventy. That's quite a lot of iron. Hundred armor, but it's shit stats. This is shit. Uh, we'll look at those upgrades later because that doesn't really matter. But um, we're playing Twisting Blades, Puncture, Fundamental, Twisting Blades, Advanced. And you just get all these bullshit nodes. Shadow Step, Dash. Damage. Nothing there. Double imbue. Mixed. Blended. Poison DR and poison attack speed. Imbue crit. Innovation, that's pretty important. Attack speed. Momentum. Momentum triggers 
I was like, how the fuck do you daze? When are you ever going to daze or stun? But it hits from behind, even though it doesn't look like it hits from behind. So you always have this. Because again, like, we've never actually played a rogue. Build gear. We just have the basic aspects. DR with your normal skill. This drops. We use momentum. It's moderately poggers. And obviously get like the DR close is still the best. Insane gloves. Oh, we had that on our gloves. We put it on the weapon. So we can put something else on this. Uh, and like, uh, obviously we don't have... If we didn't imprint or upgrade something, it's because we just don't have the mats yet. But these gloves are pretty poggers. We're just using rubies because it's more useful. We, you're not doing nightmare dung, so you're not getting CC'd. Armor, close. Move speed and energy cost reduction. We charge. These are alright. We made this ages ago. It's a shit base. But it's um, the twisting blades thing on a two hander, which is double. Basic attack because you do the shing 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 before you do the thing. This isn't that useful because you're always out of thing -o. We forgot to imprint this on a better ring, so we're still using this, which dropped. No, this, uh, this just on a ring. Create. Crit core attack speed cooldown, pretty shitty. So just the basic um, end chance. Combo points. Uh, that's the build. Obviously the playstyle, if you're out of combat, you're spamming dash and um, evade. If you're in combat, if you're trying to get in combat, you use shadow step or you put that on elites. You're spamming your imbubes. If you have no energy, you do shing shing shing. Then you twisting blades. It's not it's not that difficult. We haven't looked at this bullshit yet because we just can't be fucked. Um, I don't think it's that important. I'm trying to get to Dubs T4 ASAP. So then we just talk about. Um, let's check the script. We got a mini script. Oh, the leveling. We we just stole this from various streamers. Um, before level 15, you did Lost Archives. I don't actually like I think Lost Archives is better than Forsaken Quarry, because this is ghosts that run away and spread out. So you log in, you do the season quest, you just have to follow it around... It's pretty shit because you have no waypoints. You don't. I mean, you don't have to do it. But then I guess it, it don't, you have to unlock the thing. But then you never run into it because it's so shit. Um, but yeah, so... Lost Archives or Forsaken Quarry. I prefer Forsaken Quarry because the mom, mobs just run at you till 15 then at 15 you do your class quest and get your main skill aspect for rogue it's yalais vigil that dung then you go to sirocco which is somewhere over here somewhere over here fuck no over here sirocco till 25 then at 25 you go to Cordragon. So don't don't finish Cordragon. Don't do the stronghold. Cuz then obviously you can't it won't have mobs anymore. The fucking cam crashed. That's unfortunate, but we're fucking live. We can't fix that now. I 
I mean, we don't have to fucking go there. You just go there. You fucking run. You go in. You run here. Kill all this shit. Kill the heart thing. Go over here. Kill the things. Kill the things. Up here. Kill the things. And then once you kill all the things, you just re you have to log out. You press escape. You log out while you're still there, pressing escape, and then when you log back in, you'll spawn here. This is like a thing that we we weren't sure about. Like when you because when you log out, if you if you teleport away and then log out, because you have to reset it, um, you'll spawn in like a town, and then you'll have to run back. But if you just escape, leave game, do the countdown, and then log back in, it will, it will spawn you back here. And that's the same with um, dungeons, but for dungeons it doesn't matter anymore because they re-added the thing from the beta, the reset dung button. So you just teleport to this the entrance and click this for a dungeon. But for this stronghold, you can't reset it without exiting to the character screen. So you do this, and then just log back in and you'll be here. You don't have to go to town. Because if you go to town, then you'll log back in in a town and you have to fucking walk back. So that's just leveling. Um, yeah, that's it, I guess. Now that we've done this, we do... Um, we do the whispers to get a fucking tear something. Uh, what do you call it? Nightmare dung and then just do nightmare dungs. Or just keep doing core dragon because apparently it's like better EXP but then you don't get glyphs or whatever. So yeah, that's where we're at. Moderately poggers. It's a new game, it's still fun. Play a class that you haven't played. Don't be a streamer. <laughs> Until the next time, I guess. Cam's fucked, feels bad, man. <laughs>